Y'all, I've got my notes, I've got my laptop, I've got my coffee, and I've got my tiny mic, so I'm just ready to take over the world at this point. Hello, and welcome back to my channel, all the intro, all the intro. So today, 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 we are going to be deep sea diving into the world of shapewear by way of TikTok. My cat is digging into the couch for some reason. What you looking for, baby? I, oh. Shapewear is an undergarment that helps create a smooth silhouette and sculpt your figure to highlight your natural curves, especially when wearing tight-fitting clothing. They're designed to help your clothes fit better and boost confidence whether you wear them every day or on special occasions. So shapewear is considered a foundation garment. And as a foundation garment, it is meant to give you a confidence boost by helping smooth and contour your silhouettes. Keep in mind, shapewear isn't meant to, from my understanding, <laughs> from my understanding, shapewear is not meant to um, size you down or make you skinny. Like that, I don't believe is the purpose of shapewear to elevate and refine your natural shape no matter what size you are is more so the goal of shapewear i have the answer i have the answer so let's go big 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 in time to see how this and this and this became all of this you ready let's go let's go Before we get started, no, I could not have done this without a top hat, a monocle, or a handlebar mustache. Before the Athenian invasion, the people of Crete, this place right here, had a great appreciation for the female form. They created undergarments that would actually showcase their bodies. They would be completely exposed on the top and they would wear corsetry that would push everything up and cinch in their waist. I'm sucking in my cheeks. Ancient Greek women used to wear girdles woven out of firm linen fabric, wool, or soft leather material. They introduced metal into their shapewear. Apparently, decorative metal girdles became an essential part in women's wear. The beauty standard was giving slender, it was giving flat chest, it was giving wide hips. Women wore breast binders to make their chest appear smaller. It was all about that hourglass figure. Tightly laced bodices, a lot of pain and lack of airflow was the norm, unfortunately. Wide hips equal childbearing qualities, meaning that you, yes you, was finna get chose. Petticoats and corsets were all the rage. Big bust, tiny weights seems familiar. A lot of these courses were made out of our favorites. <coughs> Steel, other hard materials, and whale belts. Whale belts. Whale belts. Y'all are going to jail, period! Now disarm yourselves. It's not actually whale bones, but it's rather baleen. And what is baleen? Leave the whales alone. Effective immediately. When these women weren't fainting from shock, they were fainting from lack of air and rearranged organs. In the 1920s, gone were the days of the corset and the flapper girl aesthetic was in. Instead of having metal corsetry, you had women wearing the flapper dress as well as bras and camisoles and panties in order to conceal their figure. Shapewear is back? What? Well, at least there was no metal involved. It was lightweight, made from elastic and slimming. From the 1950s to the early 90s, you went from the pinup girl all the way to heroin chic. Big busts, tiny waists, wide hips, all the way to, as they called it, thin is in. Their words, not mine. I just also wanted to add that heroin chic during this time was considered very problematic and dangerous simply because a lot of people were looking at these women that were in these magazines and they were doing very unhealthy and unnatural things to their bodies to try to achieve this aesthetic. Let's keep in mind that there are people that are naturally thin. There are some that are dealing with medical conditions that will impact their weight. And also I wanted to say, if you are somebody that may be having issues when it comes down to their body image, or you just need some extra resources, I will have some linked down below. Just know that I love you and please take best care of yourselves always. 
Finally, we made it to today. Shapewear is a lot more accessible, breathable, flexible, comfortable. I am also happy to see that we are leaning more into the body acceptance, body positivity, self-love realm, which is exactly where it is that we should be always. Thank you for joining me down this rabbit hole and back to me. Thanks me. You would think since we went through the entire history of shapewear that we will be done, but we're not. We all know that TikTok is this generation's favorite app. Why? Honestly, I really don't know. But short form content of this magnitude seems to just grab hold of everybody nowadays. And it most certainly does grab hold of people who are trying to sell you something using that short form formula and hopefully fitting within your algorithm. Anyway, since we're already being hit with so many ads, let's check out a couple of them, shall we? Watch me go from this to this. Literally look at this. The way this bodysuit from Shapey just snatched me in is insane. As you can see, not only from the TikTok ad, but also from the website, that Shapey is a shapewear brand. Something that they tend to always touch on is the discounts or the deals. <laughs> Like it, it will always have something that's going to get you to go, oh, this definitely has to be a discount, even though in reality, it's probably not. Hey, everybody. Editing Jess. So I just wanted to do my due diligence in making sure that the math was actually mathing, or rather that it was not mathing. I went out to Alibaba and I decided to see exactly how much it would cost for me to buy 50 units wholesale and to see it or compare it to the prices that these units are being sold for on these shapewear sites. As you can see right here, it costs $212.54 to buy 50 units. And I'm going to take the pricing from Shapey in order to make this comparison. The deal on the site is buy one, get one free, meaning that 25 out of the 50 units that you have is going to cost zero dollars. So now with this deal and free shipping, with it being $40 a pop per unit that you are actively selling, which is 25 units, you have the grand total of $1,000. Wait, there's more. You have to subtract what it is that you bought, which is the $212.54, meaning you made a profit of $787.46. I just wanted to make sure that I crossed all my T's and dotted all of my I's and made sure that the math was actually mathing so y'all could see exactly what I was talking about when it comes down to these brands making a profit but offering a deal. It seems like a deal, but it's not really a deal. So editing Jess is out. But also, I want you to pay attention to her right here. Yeah, remember her face. She's important to the plot. As you look through all the reviews, everything doesn't look half bad. The site is well put together. You have a couple of things here and there that make me go, mm. Just to make my point clear, I'm not gonna call any of these brand scams outright except one because walk like a duck, quack like a duck, you know. But I personally don't think that this particular brand is a scam. I think that they are actually trying to maybe even rebrand themselves, figure out what it is they're trying to do in the shapewear space. But until we get to the bottom of it, we just gonna leave things as they are. I'm not completely sold on this brand top, but we look at another one. Wait a damn minute. Stick my waist in like two inches. Hey guys, this is like saying. You know what you're saying? I got a remedy. When they're stuck, I'm buying everything. As you can see, standard ad, but I was going through it very, very quickly and I decided that I wanted to actually check out the legitimate site. So let's go look that up real quick. Hmm, I guess we're moving on. It sucks you in, it keeps you in, and then just does magic. Just get your beauty now. Wait a minute. 
in it. Who are you? Like, is is this like is it legal? Cause it feels real illegal. Not on not on her part, but on the company's part. Girl, are they using your likeness and your image without permission? I'm gonna look into my legal options. So there are influencers that sell their content to companies for ads. Not saying that's what she did, but I'm just letting y'all know like all the possibilities of what could have transpired as to why we keep seeing her over and over and over and over again. To be honest, I don't even think that she knows that she is plastered across all of these platforms. I do find it funny that we keep bumping into each other like this though, so. Hey girl, I think we're besties now. <laughs> As you can see, you have the app photos, you have the reviews, you have duplicates. And dare I say, there are a lot of photos that also look familiar. Oh look, don't shoot the messenger. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Stocks you in, keeps you in. Bro, bye. Bang. And then just does magic. Bro, I'm in my jeans now. That's literally into it. like, I feel like I'm so snotty. I think we should spend a little extra time with this one don't you don't you think so because i do the brand the commercial it is what it is it's what you expect from a tiktok ad but the website this site is so poorly done it's actually laughable it makes me so incredibly sad that i know some people bought from this site and either didn't receive their product took them three to six months to receive their product. What they received was absolutely dog quality. Not only that, but much like I was saying with the other one when it came down to duplicates, you see duplicate reviews happening here. However, it's a little bit different. Ooh. We have duplicate reviews, same day, different names, which means that that was intentional. I think I can excuse the other one because glitches happen where, you know, reviews get doubled up on a site. Bet, heard you, got it. And a lot of companies, they're not big enough in order to have like moderators to make sure that that doesn't happen. But this right here is intentional. Not only do we have double reviews, but we have stolen review photos. Ooh. Doesn't this look familiar? Does it this look familiar? And if you didn't believe me in saying that it's a scam, allegedly, I hate using that word. If you did not believe me in saying that this was a scam, oh my goodness, where did these photos come from? Oh, wait. Doesn't that look familiar? <laughs> Maybe there is an explanation for this. Maybe I did jump the gun. I jumped to conclusions. Let me talk to someone. Let's go to the contact page. Shocker. <laughs> you can't talk to nobody. You can't talk to nobody. And if all of this bull is not enough, let us take a moment to look at the terms of service page. Let's just scroll all the way down to the bottom and see what is here. Whoever put this site together, you had one job. You had one job just to make this look legit. And unfortunately, a lot of people aren't gonna do exactly what I did. I went from the top of the terms of service all the way down to the bottom and there were issues throughout the entire thing. Oh my goodness. It makes me sick. Sorry y'all, uh, I, uh, I just, I don't know, I get very passionate <laughs> and upset about stuff like this, but let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Now, 
Now, I'm sure people are wondering why I'm even about to mention one star reviews. Let me explain. When you look at a lot of these companies, they don't have any one star reviews. That's suspicious. That's weird. I thought that we would look at some well-known established brands and see what their reviews are looking like. I will be referring to my notes once again if I do declare. So starting off with the comparisons, we have Shapelex. As of this recording, they have 1,816 reviews and they have two one-star reviews with responses from the company. Talk about professionalism. Yiddy has 491 reviews and 27 one star reviews. People love Yiddy. I've heard a lot of great things about Yiddy. And even if you don't love Yiddy, you love Lizzo. And if people who love Lizzo and are willing to try Yiddy, still loving Lizzo, give it a one star review. I think that says something, doesn't it? Shaper Mint, they have 363 reviews and eight of them are one star reviews and I'm not gonna lie, some of them are rather scathing. <laughs> Despite that, guess what they did not do? They didn't delete it and they didn't try to hide it in a sea of comments. If you just scroll over here and you do the drop down menu, you look at the lowest rated, they are right there for your viewing pleasure. And then we got the OG, OG, triple OG, OG of Spanx. They have 17 one-star reviews out of 101 reviews. And they also responded to some of their customers' professionalism. Talk about it. Now, I already know that somebody's about to be like, but you got skims. How come you don't get skims in your review? Look, listen, I went to the skim site and I went to a similar product. There's no way to filter the reviews themselves. So like how you have some that say, most helpful, most critical, highest rated, lowest rated. There's nothing like that when it comes down to looking at skims, which to me is like side eye. Okay, I guess. But one thing I can say is that even throughout all of my scrolling, I still found low ratings, including a one star review. Somebody is purchasing this product with their own hard earned money and they give it a one star review despite her influence. I think that says a lot. So when I'm making comparisons between all of these companies compared to those companies that barely have a foot in the game, I am growing suspicious. Do I hate shapewear? No. <laughs> I don't hate shapewear. I'm actually pretty cool with it. I, you know, I'm gonna read it from my notes. I'm gonna read exactly what it is that I wrote. As far as shapewear is concerned, I'm cool with it as long as you aren't being deceptive, unethical, or treating a vulnerable audience with your unrealistic and incredibly problematic beauty expectations and standards. I think that's pretty damn clear. And for all the brands that do that. Shame, shame, shame. Shame on you. Stop it. Don't do that, okay? Just stop. stop. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I'm so glad that I went on this deep sea dive and that you were here to join me. Please follow me on all of the things and all of the places, all the outro, all the outro, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,